day I'm doing a test with Windows <laughs> because I am finally um, on a Windows operating system rather than Ubuntu, which is what I'm usually on. I have a, a hard drive from a friend that gave me a bunch of computer stuff. Thank you, Jordan, for um, all your tech stuff that you've donated to me in the past. Um, I think he like works in IT or something and gets random old goodies. Anyway, I've had a hard drive with with like a real version of Windows on it for a while. I locked myself out of it like as in I forgot the password that I set. I set it up and then I didn't do anything with it for a while. So I kind of figured out that I should probably figure that out and <laughs> like reset the OS with a new password. So here I am. I always kind of love the, uh, the, se the security on uh, anything but Windows, <laughs> but um, it's fine. I uh, would like to ha think I have pretty good s security practices. <laughs> anyway, I'm in uh, Paint 3D, which is a Windows native program, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure. But you can do fun stuff, like uh, make a nice little neon green Taurus here. Like that's that's pretty fun, uh, and it's it's not really a 3D program, if you will. It's like a uh, you can move things forward in space, but then it all gets flattened down to 2D. You can kind of manipulate the lighting on those objects in certain ways. That's a good one. Anyway, I'm kind of also testing out um, software. For, oh, Noodle Doodle. That's pretty cool. Oh, no way. This is really cool. I don't know if this is like basic because I feel like anybody who has a Windows uh, or been exposed to a Windows system. What is happening? Uh like has probably messed with this before some stuff is like a little oh, okay weird like i don't know if this is super basic but this is my first time messing with it so <laughs> like i'm sure kids mess with this stuff in their computer class at school which that's great oh no way okay whoa yeah but like what what happens okay what happens? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Wow, we love that. <laughs> I'm into this, I'm into it. So I'm kind of testing a new setup out. I made a, uh, I made like a weird test bench version of my computer's physical form the other day. It's a little cringe, it's a little trashy tech, but it is what it is. I might be having a cat in my space soon. So I don't I don't know if I should really be having such a, you know, such an open-faced system with wires everywhere. I don't know if that's a great idea. Probably not. But I don't have a case and I did all this work to <laughs> kind of. It's almost nice. There's a few parts on it that are really silly. And just like slapped together with uh, wood materials, which I kind of hate builds with with wood. I'd rather see things in metal and plastic, but I don't have a 3D printer. Don't really know who does. Don't really care. So some stuff I just make out of wood and masonite, but was working on that the other day, figured that out, got my got my Windows Jam up and running for the most part. I'm pretty satisfied with what's going on here. I kind of get Windows after not messing around with it for like a very long time. <laughs> like a very, very long time. I feel like I gotta pick up the pace here. Dropped a uh Oh, well, that's interesting. It goes over top of that and behind the 3D. I guess it makes sense. What? 
What? You can paint? Oh my gosh. It's amazing. I have an album cover for the <laughs> big four album project thing that I'm going to have to work on again soon. I've been like procrastinating on it because I had a show that I was preparing, I'm still preparing for. I got a painting. Wow. I'm going to go off on such a tangent that I'm going to forget what I was talking about originally. That's a, a little work in progress type thing that um, I'm preparing for a group show and just trying to force myself to like make new stuff. And um, yeah, I'm trying to do like some larger paintings because I haven't done that in a very long time. And the way that I make like kind of generative artwork where it's like layers and stuff is a little bit different now than it was in the past. So when I approach a canvas now, it's like completely different. I'm also having a, or I'm part of, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm part of a, uh, a thing at my work that is a event, but we're doing live painting. So um, I kind of want to bring a, a larger canvas. Um, and I think it's like I'm painting for three hours or something, which is kind of wild. Um, I mean, I could do that anyway, right? It would just be more like listening to podcasts and not having people like look at me while I'm doing it. But um, I don't know. Sounds fun. It's, it probably won't be. All I got to do is paint, you know, and um, bring, I think I want to bring some fabric as well and kind of do like some mixed media jams and paste, paste stuff onto, I don't know if I'm going to work on canvas or work on board or what, who knows but I'll figure it out. So I've been thinking about that and it's kind of like, well, I should probably make sure that I can, you know, kind of get how I approach canvas is pretty locked down before I do that, right? Like I don't want to get there and be like, uh, you know, come up with something that just doesn't look right. Uh, or I think they're selling the item at the end. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm getting paid for my time too, which is fun, but it is a fundraiser. So it's like, it's all in the name of like trying to, um, boost the money that's being <laughs> made because I don't know, there's, there's a little funding and, uh, art spaces. Cause that's what it is. It's a place for art. I was talking about that because I dropped, oh, right. Well, I dropped an album recently. That's the, the Mappy Gox project, and um, which started out, I don't know if I explained this last week, it started out as like a car project because I carpool to work. Multiple days a week I'm like stuck in a car, usually I do nothing, but recently I kind of got, got the uh, urge to make stuff and uh, in the car. And so that was kind of fun and uh, made a bunch of beats and then did like a Yoshi voice slash Elmo voice over stuff and I don't know I hope it like translates that it's like a mix of whoa it's like sort of I mean this looks like a kid made it in recess that they had to stay inside for because it was raining <laughs> is this like is this the default like art thing on computers now I guess it is like when I was a kid we had just the basic MS paint right and I guess this is what th that is now. Ooh, pixel pen, that's fun. T oh, huh, interesting. Well, I mean, I'm also testing out some video and screen recording software here. Uh, and hopefully I can get Caden live to work on this. Even though it's like kind of buggy a lot of the time, I still uh, just know how to use Caden live as an editor, as a video editor. So that's what I use. Hopefully I can get it to work on the Windows OS. I think I can. Anyway, right, drop the album. Um, I was talking about, oh, that I'm procrastinating on the artwork for the four album project that uh, is three hours long and it is, I still have to master and that's why I mentioned the time because yikes. It's a lot of time to be master mystery music. I mean, it takes me long enough to just master like a half hour project. Um, I'm also not very good at mastering. I don't really know a lot about it. I just kind of know it sounds good. 
Oh gosh, let's just uh, <laughs> just dumb ass abstract painting you see in like an art gallery, and you're like, oh come on. Um, <clears throat> plenty of shade under the tree. Um, okay, so this yes, it's ugly. No, I don't care. We're just experimenting. We're just playing here, right? I don't know what's happening. All I know is it's good to change things up once in a while. Okay, <laughs> I'm finally gonna get to why I mentioned that because it's, um, I'm trying to kind of emulate old school PS1 graphics. Ooh, can we get a uh, calligraphy pen? This looks like a brush, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe if I plugged in my tablet. Sometimes I just like drawing with a mouse. Okay, anyway, this is hot garbage. Let's get some 3D stuff in. <laughs> I, I'm trying to make it like old school PS1 graphics, so... Um, I could technically probably make it in, in this, but probably not. I've been learning Blender, I guess, and that's been fun. Yeah, last week I was sick, huh? I just got over being sick. And, uh, that was interesting. Haven't really been sick in a while. I guess I'm better. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sort of better. Let's see what this does. Okay. Oh, I hate that shape already. <laughs> Maybe I should... What? Stop using the word hate because it doesn't matter. Wow, this is so cool. This like reminds me of a, a program that I used to have, but I can't quite picture what that would be in my head, in my memory. Um, love it though. I love that this just comes stock with stuff, right? I mean, maybe I'll do this again next week and then I'll make a better one. <laughs> Uh, um, if you watch this and you haven't commented ever, you should comment because I don't know who watches these. I know who watches these when they comment. <laughs> like a handful of patrons watch. Not even a handful, a few, because there's not a handful. <laughs> if you want to support me on Patreon for doing this, okay, I was saying last week that I got to update my Patreon. How do I move stuff? Um, I was saying last week, gotta update the Patreon, and gotta like put all the places that I'm at on it, right? Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> yes, it's bad, I'm playing. Uh, we love to play. Play is good for you. Yeah, all the, all like the spaces that I'm, I'm doing things, if people care about that, um, if you're like supporting me or you're, I don't know. So let's see, I am on YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna, I hate those shapes in the background. I gotta stop saying hate. I don't really hate it, I just dislike it. What, you can oil paint on the shape? <laughs> uh, I, I would love to like get good at this. I would also love to get good at uh, that C64 program too that I didn't really ever get that great at. I don't know. I could probably be using the pen tablet that I have now, which I probably should be using, but sometimes mice are just easier, depending. I'll use the other thing next week, and it'll be great. So, oh my god. Whoa. Wait, it was cooler. Um, I'm here on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to be making these um, on Instagram. I don't know. I might do videos on Instagram once in a while. But why did it smooth out the path? It was like so cool. That's cool that I can change my... Yeah, like, we need to make it crunchy. It looks like the, uh, those viral videos of the McDonald's chicken nuggets stuff. It looks like an intestine. I should probably make it not that color. <laughs> oh, 
that's how you move and resize things. So, um, I make things on Instagram occasionally, like pictures and whatever. I do have a private Instagram, which uh, I'm gonna go post on right now. So, um, if you want access to a super secret Instagram account that I post what I'm doing like every day, then support me on Patreon. Also, what's up to <laughs> those people who support me on Patreon? Uh, so, um, I can't, I can't watch it again. <laughs> it's gross. I'm on Twitter, not really doing much of anything helpful. I'm on YouTube doing this and like getting very few views, but we don't care. I'm on, oh, my other Instagram, my fingerboard account, for those of you who care about that. Not really sure how many of you there are that do care about that. But maybe there's a few. Um, yeah, fingerboarding is a hobby of mine. And somehow I got a handful of people over there on that account that are enjoying it seemingly <laughs> and I film a clip like every few days I film unboxings on there from like sponsors and stuff because somehow people send me things for free and it's a fun little hobby that I have and I really um, enjoy slash dislike slash I'm neutral about challenging myself to making up new tricks and things like that. <laughs> I spend a lot of time filming clips when I do have time. And uh, it's it's a fun, it's challenging. It really is challenging. Some things take a really long time because I get ideas. It's just like how I skate. It's like I get ideas and then I can't do it. And then I'm like, I probably could do it. But, oh yeah, I, I post skate clips on in my Instagram as well if that is something you are indeed interested in. I feel like I had, I had said all this stuff last week or something. It's very deja vu right now. <laughs> I also feel like I need to wrap this up because what else am I doing? Wow, very cool. I would love to make one of these that actually like looks correct. Because <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't look that good <laughs> yeah I would love to get more people watching on YouTube because it still doesn't make sense nothing I do in terms of like content creation really makes sense um, but I do I do like to do it I like to make stuff that you can just like put on in the background or like hang out sounds fun in, in theory um, I like making ugly art Again, it sounds fun in theory. <laughs> Here we are, like, what What are we doing? <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should play up that I enjoy making ugly art. Maybe that's, like, a, a plus, you know? Is it a plus? How should I brand this show? I, I used to kind of play up that... There is like a fictional place called Pleasant Lawson Street Cybertown Station that I'm like in right now, which I am. <laughs> you know, I kind of wow. I I really enjoy this program. It's it's a uh, it's a good one. I'm glad glad it exists. I'll probably go on this for a good while, maybe if I can. I don't know. You probably, probably couldn't tell that I actually try to make sellable art by looking at this. <laughs> Hit me up if you want to buy any of my art. I mean, I have, I definitely have things for sale. Oh, I do like commissions too. Commissions open. What's up for graphic design, all that stuff. This video is just me promoting myself. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can just sit, sit here and hang out while I promote myself. How does that sound? Sound good? Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, who knows what I'm doing with, with my YouTube channel and all that stuff. I'm just, like, making things when I feel like it. Um, I guess that's the best vibe anyway. Sometimes I don't have anything else to talk about, and uh, but I, I still like to talk, and it's, it's uh, I guess, therapeutic for me or whatever. So, 
uh, we're here. You're still here, apparently. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Kier. My website's k11r.github.io and I'm on Instagram at Kirsten Rutabaga. Thank you to my patrons and share this with a friend who also likes ugly art. You know, because that's really the cav caveat. This is disgusting. It's this, uh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>